Comic-Con starts today and we have some Power Ranger toy news. Let's get into it, break it down, hit that intro. Fan club. I'm sorry You're about the quality, y'all. It's You're like, um, You're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! I can't do this on my own. Cause you know things oh, let's get it. always sweet. When you out here in these streets. But my morpher when it morphs, I made a fake. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the fan club. It is your boy, Bros Dan Brosnan, in the building. Happy San Diego Comic Con weekend. It is going to be incredible. We have to shout out the homie Dan over at the Legacy of Nerd for sharing this info with us on oh, social. Hey, the metallic white and Green Ranger looks awesome. I like how the Green Ranger looks shiny like his Sentai counterpart, as much as the White Ranger be looking. But it's the fact that we actually got something maybe from Hasbro or someone else that is doing these toys. But it might be Hasbro themselves. But either way, it's good to see these Power Rangers on the internet once again. So, uh, yeah, they look good either way. Rangers coming from Super 7. Yes, folks. And I'm talking about the Metallic Ranger Yo, that you they got the helmets on point, though. They look so good. They are going to hit shelves. I remember this seeing this on Twitter. Like right here, and they look Twitter be always putting out some uh, Not so crazy much shit the on metallic there. rangers from the show, but more like the from the movie that were released for the movie back in the day. And who didn't love these? On the Legacy of Nerd page, it says I wish I had the figures though. better images of the metallic Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures coming on Power Ranger Day from Super Seven. Oh, so, so we, even August twenty eighth, it kind of makes sense. We weren't gonna get anything this year. It is pretty freaking cool that they're still thinking about us on National Power Rangers Day, even if it isn't an official Hasbro release. It is still an official Super yeah. Seven release who have the rights to the property they will be 35 dollars a piece and they look super cool the so basically if you're spending like what 40 dollars for the figure right away are the weapons and eh, could be better for 35 dollars but hey we haven't had any power ranger figures in a minute so we will definitely take these i don't care if they have blank weapons yes would it be cooler if they were nicer Hell yeah, but these look pretty cool. And for 35 bucks, they better be cool. The other toy news that we have that kind of made my jaw drop a little bit is 3-0 has a Power Rangers mm. Turbo Red. I saw this on Twitter too. Now, whether now whether this is Tommy or TJ, yeah, I think this, I think this might be TJ because I still prefer him over Tommy, but... The fact that we actually got to see him on a display is really nice to see. Other than Mighty Morphin. We know that the Zeo Rangers are coming. I don't think they're here yet. I'm pretty sure they're on their way. I just Correct saw me um, if I'm wrong. And next in Zio line are Green the on Turbo as well. Rangers. This is I don't know how I almost crazy. forgot it. 3-0 does have the license to pretty much do what they want with the brand. Now, obviously, it has to be characters that are going to sell but we have a red ranger here from turbo and i know turbo is one of those seasons that's polarizing either you love it or you hate it hate it but we can't deny the first that half the i did but the second ranger half got better very iconic and nostalgic people do remember that one because it was tommy's last ranger iteration until he came back as the black dino thunder yeah and i prefer him over there who is a super iconic ranger this is where he got his start taking over for tommy what an incredible ranger and i'm excited i have never collected these figures because they are kind of pricey but they look so freaking cool they do i might have to save up and get this one it looks awesome it looks like a damn turbo ranger when they were shrunken down holy crap i am so excited i, I bet you are isn't any like official releases from hasbro this year but there's still some power ranger news and that's exciting because it's san diego comic-con and power ranger news usually comes out around this time not every year but has happened several times in the past 
I love Power Rangers, and I love seeing the brand actually be talked about. Yeah, there for are once. a few Power Ranger YouTubers talking about this today, and we're excited. This is good news, man. I love seeing not just myself, but everybody talking about Power Rangers. That is the goal, man, to build this brand, make it bigger, give you guys better shows, better toys, better everything. I don't know if Hasbro has, like, the same vision as I do, but I know they want the same thing. They just don't know exactly, at this point, what lane they want to take with Power Rangers, and that is understandable because they have these other big brands that are making them money. I know Transformers is making them yeah, a butt ton of money. that and G.I. Joe. Look, I know in my last video when I said that, I pretty much think that Saban should just take Power Rangers back and give it to another company that can treat the franchise better. So, I still prefer them to just go to Paramount Plus because I just want this brand to just survive instead of just ending it on a sad note. You know, and I let, listen, I understand that Hasbro just doesn't know what to do with the franchise right now because they got other brands like Transformers, G.I. Joe, my Little Pony that are making them big money right now other than the Power Rangers stuff, but I think the main thing that is destroying this brand is Chris Cox. This nigga is the worst CEO of Hasbro. Brian Gona was the only one that believed in Power Rangers. He was the one that actually believed that the Power Rangers had a potential of becoming a bigger franchise under Hasbro. But since he died of cancer, Chris Crox took over as CEO. It's been downhill ever since. So maybe if you could just get somebody that believes in Power Rangers, somebody that could just give this franchise a fiery go, then yeah. But other than that, man, I don't know. It's a lot of sense, but I do think there is a lot of untapped potential with Power Rangers and we will talk about that in our next video because some news just dropped about the Power Rangers suits are going to be sold in uh -huh. auction and I'm talking about the Power Rangers from suits from always. once and always meaning I remember seeing this on Facebook it was all two. over we're going to talk about that in our next video so join us there but what do you think about the toy news will you be checking these out shout out all the fans look let me just say this though a lot of people are really, really freaking out over this because um, they think that, oh, Hasbro is selling the suits for auction. Power Rangers is over. Power Rangers of 30 years, as you know it, it's over. Hasbro ruined my childhood. Like, shut the hell up. You're just saying that to get a reaction out of people. We all know you're going to be tweeting like crazy and you're going to get ratio like nonstop. So for everybody that is dreaming and believing that once no ways is going to get a part two which i do believe that maybe we could maybe we're not because they they're just setting up for part two or maybe it's because they set up a cosmic fury so i don't know but i might end up making another video on that as well um shout out to the fan club for this video what are your thoughts on this let me know in the comments down below and i am out